Hi. We just saw. Uh, we just saw Spider-Man in No Way Home. Uh, it was pretty good. I thought it was pretty good. Spider-Man, uh, more like Spider-Man. Uh, probably the second best. Was it mid? Uh, that's what Treasure keeps saying. I mean, uh, if he says it, it's gotta mm -hmm. be true, right? Okay. All right. So this movie's guy thought it was gonna be a big fucking. Our Taco Bell's not here yet. It's coming. Um, no one's talking about it right now. Yes, we are in Taco Bell right now, but the food's not here yet, so it might show up while we're recording. Um, so, Spider-Man, uh, I thought this movie was going to be a big mess, and it kind of was a little bit in the middle. What did you guys think overall? It was the best uh, MC, second best MC of Spider-Man, I think. You think so? I think so. I think it might be the second best. Live action Spider? I don't know. I, as much as I fucking hate Tobey Maguire, this was almost the best, spoilers, this is, was almost the best one. I was going to say this is the best Spider-Man if he died. He got stabbed at the end, and if, uh, if Tobey died. I did know. like all the homoerotic banter. I like, that was the best, okay, we're just going to jump all over. That was the best part of the movie for me, it was just the totally fan service, just like where they literally just sit and talk for ten minutes and just like talk about Spider-Man shit and like the shit coming out of his wrist and fucking you know well, I can't do the spinning thing. Where, like else this. Come, where else does it come out of? Yeah, that was good. They made a peanut. I think that was a peanut. Maybe I don't know. Uh, they made a penis joke about uh, his uh, his coming web. It's very funny. Um, Andrew Garfield was in it. He's still like the best Spider-Man. I mean, I like Tom Holland a lot, right? Yeah, yeah but yeah. Yeah. he's really he's good. Hot. Fucking the park. Okay, so I didn't get emotional at all. Well, I did. Uh, I, I got a little <laughs> emotional in this movie when two times when. Uh, one, I liked, you were just talking, doing, talking about Miles Morales, uh, he, uh, when Jamie Foxx is like, ah, oh, Spider-Man, I thought you'd be black, and I thought that was really fun. I think I was the only one who laughed at that, because people don't like woke, woke, woke Marvel. Oh yeah, Spider-Man can't be black. And Andrew Garfield's like, I'm sorry, I'm not, and, uh, he said, well, there's got to be a black Spider-Man out you there somewhere. Miles, and I thought, Miles Morales people show up. No, but I was thinking, like, I am New York. Boy, no, but he was obviously talking about Miles Morales, yeah. so that got me happy. Uh, and then, um, uh, um fucking went nod, he saves MJ. He, does, he, does. he saves MJ, he doesn't, like, he grab does. her and snap her fucking neck, he, like, grabs her and then grabs all of them, and then he's like, are you okay? And then he starts crying, and she, she's like, are you okay? That fucked me up. I, um, I did almost start crying. That they was had the ball good. to kill off Aunt May. I love Andrew Garfield, I don't know why they people... Finally did it. I don't know why people give him shit. Amazing Spider-Man 2 is great. Toby's British. No, he's not. Toby looks old as fuck. You know, he, yeah. you know he kept reminding me of. He kept reminding me. Uh, no, kind of a little bit. He, more Joe Perrin in his original movies. He kind of reminded me of Elijah Wood in this one for some reason. He just kind of had that look about him, you know? The cool pasture look or something. Cool, he's yeah, he said, so, are you going to you gonna swing into action dressed like a cool past, youth pastor? That was good. Uh, that was good. Um, I thought that Sandman and Lizard, like, phoned it in, because, like, for yeah. the longest time, they were just CG completely. For Sandman had no reason to stay completely CG, and then, like, some of his lines seemed, like, weird. So yeah, I was like, did they, like, literally just, like, do a Discord call with him yeah, and have him do all this? thing for the two CG characters was, like, this is off. Yeah, something was off, and then they appeared at the end, so I assume they could only appear for, like, one shoot filming day. And that's why they did CG for the rest of them. Wait, who are the CG characters? The Sandman. lizard. The giant lizard and the dirt so, man. Sandman and lizard. That wasn't real? <laughs> they didn't train the dinosaur? What? Mm -hmm. But, um... Yeah. That was cool. I thought it got a little fucking goofy, the whole scene where he's, like, in the woods looking for Green Gobber, and then, uh... Jamie Foxx appears... Mm -hmm. And then Sandman appears, and he's like suddenly appears. He's like, "Oh, you're Peter? Oh, not my Peter? Oh." And then, oh wait, I don't, I don't, I don't know who you are. Why am I helping you? And then they, I don't know. I thought that was a little goofy. Uh, that, yeah, that was definitely like a very convenient setup. Yeah, that was about what I expected for the whole movie. It was just a bunch of weird, convenient shit just to make like cool fan service crossovers. But overall, it was pretty good. You said it was one of the better yeah, written MCU movies. They didn't do. It's just a surprising little amount of like. Random ha, huh? this is happening because it is. Mm -hmm. it actually yeah, kind of set up there was no listen, there was no fucking there was no politics. There was yeah. no other than the black thing I said. Yeah. There was no uh, love thing, no kissing Trinity, Trinity kissing him and he came back to life. There was there's no, no there's no there healing in the third act for no reason. The People died feet. and they stayed dead. They did. It's Aunt, important. Aunt May <laughs> Aunt May fucking died. They died. They finally did it. I had that spoiled, but uh yeah. I didn't. I watched the only thing I had spoiled was the uh, boys returning and Matt Murdock. Oh yeah, man, Murdoch yeah, was in it. He, he caught a brick. Yeah, like, I'm, like, a really you, I'm a really like, good yeah, lawyer. He would not beat Phoenix right in the court of law. I'm just gonna say it. It's true. Just saying. I'm just saying. Um, it's a really good lawyer, and then it's the really best lawyer. Yeah, yeah. Phoenix Wright 
is in the fighting game, alright? Matt Murdock? I don't think he is. I think he literally might be in the same fighting game. <laughs> well, then Fuck. we fight. I have Marvel's Captain on 3, I'm pretty sure Phoenix Wright and Daredevil well, are Well, then that. the only Shoot. way to find out that to do that. Yeah. let them fight. For sure. Uh, I feel like there was more I was going to say, but I don't know. Uh, kind of close to fall, I feel like he wasn't as good as he was in uh, the Raimi trilogy. Yeah, they toned him down definitely because they wanted to be less but, fucking goofy. But he, I did like how he was like, you know, he was like, oh, I'm a sad homeless man for like half the movie. And he then did it, destroy his mask. And then when he came out, he, yeah, he destroyed his mask. But I did like how he hung it on the side of the fucking dumpster to he talk to it. it like he does. Um, but then like when he like got evil, he got evil. And I like he did the voice fucking beat the shit out of Spider-Man, slammed him through, like, 50 floors, killed Aunt May, which is awesome. I love that. He, he is, like, definitively the best, like, movie like, Spider-Man yeah. villain because he kills Aunt May. Uh, yeah, I, found, I thought that was all cool. Um, he stabbed Toby at the end. Uh, but he, some people are uh, saying him. that the foe is better in No Way Home than either Spider-Man 1. I don't agree. I don't agree with that at all. It's just because he toned him down. He's, like, way goofier and hard to yeah, take seriously. Yeah, I was really hoping they would recreate the scene from Spider-Man 1 with... He's holding up MJ in one hand, like, chain for children, yeah. and then New York was just going to start beating him up. I, I do like that. I New do York like, would, like, come in and save the day again. I do like he was, like, the main villain of this one. Like, there was multiple villains, but he was, like, the at the end, the main big bad guy. He was good. I liked him. Yeah. You, gotta have, Black 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 you gotta have the villains that make the hero question their morals. You know, that's what Green Goblin yeah. does in this movie. Everyone else is like, mm-hmm. I will save you. Yep. And then they say, nay, no. But then he saves them anyway, and they go, okay, yeah, that, that was pretty cool of you. Mm-hmm. Doctor Strange did nothing wrong. I was totally with Doctor Strange. I thought Peter was being a dumbass yeah. during his whole thing. I liked seeing the mirror dimension again. That was fucking cool. I love Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange is good. Yeah. I hope the next one's you know oh, fucking up Sam Raimi. Uh, but I'm just gonna say it, Doctor Strange still destroying the multiverse because a kid told him to? That's his character. It do- well, he didn't mean to. That's the thing. The trailer set it up as if, like, he, like, purposely started tinkering with the multiverse, but he didn't. He was literally just trying to use a stone thing to, the relic thing to make everyone forget, and then Sp- Peter kept being like, oh, I'll oh, end this, end this, end yeah. this, and, uh, yeah, so... Also, like, uh, I'm gonna call Kevin Feige of the MCU a hack fraud, because he wanted the original trailer to be a Civil War, show the movie to be a Civil War arc between Spider-Man and Doctor Strange. Yeah, that would be And I don't think anyone would, I don't think that would have got the, no. anyone in the theater for that one. Yeah, we don't need that. That's fucking, fuck you, Kevin Feige. What does he do, Mandalorian? Kevin Feige, no, Kevin Feige is the producer of all the MCU. Who's uh, the fucking... That's John Favreau. Oh, which is Happy, Happy Hogan. Yeah, yeah. Remember oh, the there? ending of this was Kino, too. I think I still like Amazing Spider-Man 2 ending for, like, the emotional fuck, you know? But, uh, the God Punch, but the ending of this movie was really good. What the fuck? The movie, the ending was terrible. He just doesn't even bother trying to make them remember him. Well, he yeah, because they're living good life. I thought that MJ was going to walk over to Ned and kiss him, and they were yeah. going to be a couple. I was and that, that would have been too. fucking awesome. They should have done that. <laughs> they should have. And then just have Peter leave, like, I'm being cucked by my fat yeah, friend. That would have been awesome. I see that he wasn't going to be a super villain. <laughs> I, love, yes! I love Ned being like, oh, did you have a best friend, too, to Toby? And he's like, yeah. He tr- I had to murder. He died in my arms after he tried to kill me. <laughs> it was just a silent like, oh. There was some other parts too that like we laughed super fucking hard at. I can't remember. Palpatine Lego. Palpatine Lego was good. There were some parts at the end. I think it was mostly when they were bantering on the Statue of Liberty. I like the Statue of Liberty. They were gonna add a Captain America shield to it. Cause you know America would definitely do that actually. Yeah. yeah. They would. It's something they do. Oh, here comes our. Oh, my boss. <laughs> <That's my laughs> <bottom. laughs> We know. There we go. Now I'm recording again. What is this? The Taco Bell is here. Malicious Legend is here. Who got the orange pop? Me. Wait, did that say Malicious Legend on it still? Ooh. Yo, it's wild that they serve sushi at Taco Bell. I thought I fixed that. <laughs> you fool. You never fixed it, Greg. No. I also have mine fixed. On Why does it say that still? <laughs> You will always be with us if I do the main part of it. My stuff. You got all your stuff? Yeah. Everyone's got all their stuff? Alright. I'm gonna tr- attempt to drive to, uh, I'll just go, par- I'll just go park by Modstar. Alright. Yep, still recording. Keep talking. I fucking loved it when you fought Tom Holland's big penis, though. Mm. <laughs> that didn't happen. Quit lying! Nobody's gonna watch this who cares about... Jake's Jake. gonna go see this on the world's theaters. smallest theater in lacrosse, the world's smallest but, screen. But, but they have pizza and the sides look cool, Riley. The sides look cool. I can look at the cool sides. Okay, I'm okay. bored. Fuck you. Uh, <laughs> I like uh, the. I said this in the theater, but I really liked how they took like the villains and like characters from like old tri- movies, Spider-Man movies, and like gave them like a conclusion to them. Yes, it that's what I like. They died, and it's like now they have like a way to kind of like. 
redeemed them in some cases, like Doc Ock, you know, very, yep. like, early on in the beginning, he's, like, kind of got, like, swapped around, so he was kind of actually on Spider-Man's side, you know, but, like, yep. you know, it was just, like, he was yeah, in control, was and, it, and I thought it was kind of cool, like, and, like, like it was, was it Andrew Garfield yeah. Spider-Man where he got MJ, or was that the other one? Yeah, it was yeah. Andrew Garfield, he caught MJ, and he, like, that was what I was talking yeah. about earlier. That made me almost cry. The fucking because he his girlfriend. Did you see Amazing Spider Man two? I don't remember. Where's she he, his girlfriend. He literally shows. It's what yeah. we just watched recently. It's the most graphic fucking thing I've ever seen in a MCU movie. Maybe I don't know. It like literally shows her slamming into the ground, and you hear the fucking crack of her neck, and she just dies instantly. Yeah. God damn. But like it's I awesome. think it's it's just cool how like they got a kind of a way to kind of. Oh, for you? Not that wasn't so much a redemption, but more like a con- conclusion. You know, yeah, like he, he got, redeemed himself. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, overall, I usually cringe when like they try to make crossover stuff like kind of canon. I don't know how canon. I don't know what. I don't know who fucking cares. But you know, like Kingdom Hearts shit, where they're like, "Oh yeah, we tried to make it so that when this happened, it, it fits into the actual canon and it makes sense and stuff." I hate that, but I do like I do like these and consider these like good epilogues to the Amazing Spider-Man movies. Anyways, give us Amazing Spider-Man three. I'd be okay with that. Honestly, it'd be yeah. really weird. Give, but... <laughs> give God to the trilogy. I'd be happy with that actually, and they could he could mention this stuff that happened. Yeah, it could take place after. Yeah. Well, this is this is Amazing Spider-Man three. Remember, he could he meet, said he, they said he was amazing like three times. Yeah, <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah, he could meet MJ, and he'd be like, "Oh fuck, this is MJ Zendaya? from from the other what one." What are you doing here? Yeah. Well, his oh. MJ. Oh god! All I could think about whenever she was on screen was Euphoria. That what? show's so what good. There's a show called Euphoria that she's in. Hey, why is it trailer for the second season? Oh, they have a second season trailer out? Yeah, it came out like a two weeks ago. Okay, I was going to send it to you, but I assumed that you already saw it, so I didn't. I might try to not watch it because I fucking love that show. I think it's good. It's really fucking good. I think I should still watch it. I own all of it, all of season one Ooh. and the special. Yeah. I two specials. But is it better than Spider Man No Way Home? Yeah, it is better. But yeah, Tom Holland's definitely my favorite Spider-Man. But I do like Andrew a lot, though. I still don't like Toby. Toby was weird. He was old and out of place in this one. He looks like a cool youth master. Yep, I'm still happy he was in it. Here, can I put this under your feet? Under your legs? Oh, what time is it? Uh, I'll probably have to eat and drive. That's fine. These are more Spider-Ham. Yeah, True. what the fuck? No Spider-Ham? I am, expi- I am more excited for Across the spider I think that'll be better. I mean, yes, that will be the best Spider-Man. That is still the best Spider-Man movie for sure. I'm gonna see this one again in a week. So I'll uh, see. yeah, I think my mom wants to see it. I had to see it down. It was, a little, it was a little weird that they had uh, the Venom teaser, you know. And, like, that was awesome. I love the Venom thing, even though it was stupid. I don't know. I mean, I thought it was weird that they had it and, like, everyone's like, oh, Venom's going to be in the new Spider-Man movie. <laughs> and then he just kind of wasn't until, like, the very end cutscene where he's just like, oh, yeah, no, I'm not. And they just kind of, like, get moved out of the universe. Out. Kevin Feige, person, like, Sony, what the fuck did you just do? Again, the best part, my favorite part of this movie was when they were just having their banter talking about shit. And when he's like, oh, yeah, I fought a space alien. Uh... A black goo space alien, and uh, he's like, oh, he's like, oh, I did too. He was purple, and he was, and I went to space to fight him, and shit like that. And Garfield's like, damn, I suck. I haven't gone <laughs> no, to space. No, no, you're awesome. I haven't fought an alien. Like, you're amazing. You're amazing. Say it. You're amazing. It was very homoerotic. Oh, I like, oh, well, all three of them. I'm just waiting for them to kiss. They were in it more than I thought they were gonna be. Um, yeah, because you were like, oh yeah, people are gonna rage when they're in it just for like the last ten minutes. But no, they were a pretty big part. I mean, it didn't ha- the leak that came out a few weeks ago, the really bad deep fake of a young uh, Tobey Maguire thing, I'm Spider-Man. I was hoping he would say that. <laughs> I'm Spider-Man. I liked how they introduced them, too. Yeah. How you just, like, walk through the portal thing. Ned can use magic. He's gonna be in the next Doctor Strange. He's the main character. He's uh, Benedict Wong's son. Maybe. I don't mm-hmm. know. Anyway. That explains it. Spider- what else was I gonna say? Um, um, um. The end, of the Venom thing see. at the end, was funny. They made Venom actually understandable. <laughs> they made him like his voice was deeper, but somehow more understandable. Um, but he gets warped back to his reality. But then his uh, he leaves a little bit of black cum on the table, hinting that you know that don't happen. This was gonna be. This was a very good way to end. You know, everyone forgets Spider-Man. This was supposed to be the last one. It was the last one in Tom's contract and stuff. But they just renegotiated. They just renegotiated. And now they're doing three. Another three. So he's getting six. Epic. So. But yet my boy Garfield can't get two or three. He didn't fight a purple alien. Not yet. 
I'm just saying, <laughs> though, venom, venom is going to happen. What else is going to happen? Scorpion? Yeah, they keep Scorpion at one point already. Uh, we need, um, this healer versus Doc Ock. You should oh, yeah. just fight Bane. Craven the Hunter is probably going to happen. <laughs> and that's it. That's all the time I've Morbius? Morbius, yep. So I think he's part of the MCU because uh, Michael Keaton shows up and hangs out with him. Yeah, that is weird. Yeah, he's in there. I want Zombie Stan Lee to come as a villain. Well, guess what? They have Marvel Zombies as a TV show coming up. Shoot. So, Stan Lee's <laughs> going to be there. It's going to be awesome. Oh my god. Like, wasn't that a Marvel If episode? Yeah, but people, that's like everyone's favorite episode, so they make a whole spin-off show. Finally, I've been meaning to watch the If. I'll watch the Zombie show. I haven't watched it either. I need to watch it. I hear it's good, but I don't really care. Because they, they try to make it canon and multiple and everything. And like, oh, okay. I think I'm going to try to so far, other than Loki, the multiverse stuff has been pretty, uh, pretty alright. I just like the like, three different people breaking the multiverse at that time. Yeah. It's pretty broken at this point. That's why they're making Doctor Strange multiverse movie. Yep. So, so I thought at the end when he was, um, old, face to face with, uh, evil Darkling, Dark Doctor Strange <laughs> in the trailer, um, I thought that that was going to be the guy from, you didn't watch. No one here watched Loki, I don't think. No. At the end, they find basically like the god of the multiverse. He's just a guy sitting at a desk. Yeah, he's... King the Conqueror. Yeah, and he's like, oh, hello, yes. And I thought that was going to be him, but I think he dies. I think female Loki kills him. I can't fucking remember that show stuff. No, but he's coming in, but he's going to be the main villain of Ant-Man Circle Time. Is he? Yeah. Oh, well. Circle Time, I like that. That's a good name. All right, well, if I think of anything else, I guess I'll... And addendum later, but uh, anyone else got anything else? Well, to say? Yeah, Garfield, well, Garfield may hate Monday, but he loves Spider Man. Oh! He does. It's a good outro. Get out of my car. Get out of my car. This is my car. Not anymore, man.